all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls in today's video i'm going to be going over node wrangler the amazing add-on built-in with blender for shading all right if this sounds interesting and you have been wanting to know a few secrets about this very add-on you're in the right place guys we have cyborg from the teen titans joining us today all right let's have some fun guys so first first things first we're going to go over the basic one so if you hit Control shift okay let me show you how to install the node wrangler add-on all right if you don't have it enabled already you're going to edit preferences and under add-ons you type node and node wrangler should pop up yeah this guy here you just click this check mark all right now you can check out all the hotkeys here just hit show hotkey list and all of them should appear and you can go through each and every one of this but i'm going to be giving you the most useful for me and what i find important let's go ahead and let me show you each one all right so the first things first the most the one i use the most is the preview option all right so if we hit Control shift and left click we can preview what a particular texture looks like all right without uh lights and other like sh without slight interacting with it all right let me show that i have a brick texture here so let me hit Control shift and you can see i preview that i have a mix node i can preview each part to know what exactly it is i want okay this can help to for you to find out what is wrong with the material to know which part is faulty and which part is not all right the preview would add a viewer node so you can just hit Control shift and select the last one and it will connect back to the surface and everything should be back to normal all right let's move on very quickly to the next which is the Control t all right now with this with the texture node selected if i hit ctrl t it will automatically set up mapping and texture coordinates all right now if i hit ctrl c with something else that has color outputs ctrl t we would have an image texture mapping texture and coordinate nodes as well okay the next one we're going to be looking at is the reload function all right so you might have edited the picture a couple of times and you find out that the image is still rendering the same thing all right you can just select the image uh, texture node and hit alt r and it will reload images all right let's move on to the next one which is to swap or cycle through through uh, outputs all right so say we have a node like the principal bsdf let me go ahead and make this full screen say we have a node like this and we hit alt s we allow these to swap all right and if we have only one connected and we select that and hit alt s it cycles through every output available okay so let's move on to the next one next one we have Control shift right mouse drag all right and what that does is it creates a mix node all right let me hit Control shift right mouse drag you see that will create a mix node very simple very easy very helpful a lot of times okay now the next one we're going to be looking at is control right mouse drag all right so just control and right mouse and drag this will cut off any connection okay let's move on to the next one control shift d would duplicate without breaking the connection right this is very useful in case we are trying to get different textures and we wanted to retain these uh, coordinates so we hit Control shift d and it will keep this connection on the output all right let's move on to the next one which is shift s let's say we add let's say we hit shift a and add the wrong uh node right we can hit shift s and swap the node to whichever one we please all right shift s okay let's move on to the next one shift alt right mouse drag all right shift alt right mouse drag now this will connect to the output okay so from where you started from 
just shift alt right mouse drag and you can select where you want to connect it to very helpful in case you can't uh, afford to zoom in to select where exactly you want to connect it with you just connect that straight away let's move on to the next one they are a lot all right let's use shift alt d all right now what this does let's hit shift alt d let's select this one shift alt d it disconnects uh if that node has this output going somewhere if we hit shift alt d it will disconnect it all right i think we have covered most of them are uh, one of the most essential ones now if we have everything selected and we have some nodes we do not want that are not connected and everything we want we have the results we desire we can simply uh, make sure we deselect everything and hit alt x and delete unused nodes so everything that is not connected to the final node 3 would be deleted all right that has been node wrangler in a flash not really a flash this has been a long time but node wrangler is something that is very vast once more you can go into edit preferences and you can go through the you can just go through each and every one of the hotkeys to understand what each of them does and play around with these things this has been fun guys this is it for me for now if you like this video do well to drop a like subscribe to this channel show some love hit that red subscribe button down there to join the family if you haven't done so already my name is denzel and have a nice day